Hello, and welcome to the rightcome.com podcast, where we help you to make money from your words. Each episode, we'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to make more money from your writing, publishing, and marketing to your fans and audience. Let's get started with your host, Barry J. McDonald. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to this podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today I want to take a moment to ask you, what path are you on? Now, yesterday I read a great post by the great Dexter Abraham. You'll find him over on Facebook. But in his post, he had mentioned something, a line in it that kind of stood out for me and grabbed my attention. Now, the line he had written was, the path to everywhere leads to nowhere. Now, I want you to ponder on that for a moment. Now, I don't know how your business has coped in 2020. Maybe you've gone forwards, maybe you've gone backwards, maybe are just kind of in the same situation as before. But around this time of year, probably coming up to Christmas, a lot of us kind of, you know, maybe make plans for what we're going to do in January, how we're going to turn things around. And maybe we might kind of rip reminisce over 2020, what we did right, what we did wrong, and hopefully not try and carry those mistakes into the new year. Now, unfortunately, when I look back at my early days in writing and publishing and just being on the internet, I was a jack of all trades. Everything that came along, I tried my hand at it. I was a blogger one day, I was a YouTuber the next day, I was, um, you know, I was a ghost writer, I was into everything. And unfortunately, I, I like, like Dexter said, you know, when, are you on, when you're on a path to everywhere, you don't actually get anywhere. Now, probably the best way to explain that was something that Jimmy D. Brown, the great Jimmy D. Brown had mentioned a long, long time ago. Uh, I don't know whether it was a blog post he'd written or whether it was an email or whatever. But Jimmy had come up with this kind of analogy. He just said, you know the way when you have maybe a car that's broken down? Um, I don't know if you've ever pushed a car when it's been broken down. But if you have, you probably are well aware that when you actually put your back into it and you try and push off, it's usually at its hardest in the beginning. Um, just to get the kind of wheels just running, rolling a couple of inches, just to get it moving forward. And then you will find then as you keep kind of pushing and pushing and pushing on it, the momentum kind of builds up in the car and then it doesn't take as much effort to kind of keep it pushing along and then you may find then depending on how you know how, how broken down it is or how flat the battery is you might have to race down the street with it so you may go from a kind of a standing start you may go into a kind of really really slow crawl and then the speed picks up and then you might go into a kind of fast walking pace and you know before you know it if you need to 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 give it a good run before you actually let the clutch out and let it start you could find maybe you're sprinting at this stage but th because the car is up to speed it's really really easy to keep it at that speed uh, and compared to earlier on and as Jimmy says a lot of businesses are like that in the early days you know the most momentum you are going to spend is going is trying to get kind of get the wheels of your business turning you know at the moment depending on where you are in your business if you are starting off the hardest part of the kind of business is kind of all the effort you're putting in right now that probably isn't giving you any results. It's like the, you know, when you put your back into the, the boot of the car or whatever and you're pushing it against it, you know, you really, really have to put a lot of effort in to get the wheel just to slowly, you know, turn. So at the moment, you may find yourself, you may be creating a lot of content, maybe nobody's noticing it. And, you know, you seem to, you're probably saying to yourself at this point, you know, are you putting in a lot of effort? Because it's not paying off, you're probably wondering, is it worth your while? Now, in the early days, as I said, when I was on the internet, I was like that for a while. I would put a lot of effort into something. I would pump out a lot of content. I would write a lot of articles, maybe put them in article directories or whatever. But I would do a lot of kind of work. And then, unfortunately, my eye would, almost like a magpie, I'd catch something shiny in an email or something like that. And I would end up buying some kind of piece of software or some kind of business opportunity, whatever. And I would kind of stop pushing on the car that I was pushing on. And then I'd go over to maybe another, another kind of business vehicle and then I would be back at square one again. I would be pushing as hard as I could. I would be creating as much content as I could. Or I would be trying to, you know, use that software as best I could, as much as I could to try and make a difference. And then again, fortunately, then something else would catch my eye. And as Jimmy said, you know, if you imagine two people who are pushing a car at the exact same time, you know, if they are pushing and pushing and pushing it, you're almost like 
one person just drops out, has a look around, sees another fancier car that they think maybe is a little bit lighter or maybe it's a, a better car to drive, whatever, and they stop pushing on their car, run over and start pushing on another one on the start line. Whereas the other person who has their car going, they're pushing and pushing and pushing and they're actually going forward, they're getting building momentum and they're building up speed. But the other person then is pushing the second car a little bit forward and then they get tired of that and the race over, run back the start line again and then they get another car and push on that and they make a little progress with that. And then depending on how maybe they're burnt out at all the kind of hard work they're putting in, they kind of stand around and they've got three or four cars around them that have kind of travelled, you know, very, very little away from the start line. But when they look over to where the other person was that they had started with in the very, very beginning, they look around and that person is gone. They've gone out of sight, they have pushed the car and have stuck pushing that car and they have travelled, you know, out of sight. And, you know, when I do look back at some of the people that I started with years and years ago, you know, when I dropped out of blogging, a lot of them stayed in blogging. Now, not all of them did, but there was some that did stay in blogging. And, you know, they have st stayed in blogging many, many years later and their businesses have kind of thrived because of it, because they stuck to the one thing. And, you know, they put all the effort into it. And again, like the car, you know, it was hard for them in the very, very beginning. But as the years have moved on and as the content has built and built and built on top of it, you know, itself, it's almost like a snowball that's kind of rolling down the mountainside and it's grown and grown and grown. And you will find find just like getting a car running up to speed you will find then when you get running for a while it will probably get easier you won't have to create as much content you won't have to put as much effort into it maybe you might be able to automate it but unfortunately a lot of people like Dexter says kind of go down the paths to everything and they end up going nowhere so I want you to think about that today you know can you blame 2020 on the little success you had or is it because maybe you were you know trying your hand at everything and because of that then you haven't made any progress now again to, I totally know, you know, when you're new on the internet, there's so many things you could do. You could be a podcast or you could be a YouTuber, you could be an Instagrammer, you could be someone on, you know, big on Facebook or whatever. There's so many options for people to choose. And because of that, then, you know, you do probably need to allow a period of time where you test out all the different things and kind of find your feet and then kind of say to yourself, well, is this the kind of thing that I want to stay involved with? Do I always want to be a fiction writer? Do I always want to be a blogger? Do I see myself uh, maybe five years from now still creating content for YouTube? Or whatever and as I said you sometimes you have to play around a little bit to get a taste for what you like and what you don't like but if you do find maybe that you are still doing that you know months and maybe years later maybe it's time just to stop for a second and just you know say to yourself you know Am I going to make any progress if I keep dropping things and starting things? Because you're never, ever going away. You're going to be like the, those cars which have just made a little pro bit of progress from the start line, but they're not going to get anywhere. And you will find yourself, you know, back exactly where you've started from. Whereas maybe the people who stick in whatever business they are in and keep working and working and working at it, you know, sometimes it is boring to kind of work in the same business. You know, if you were a blogger all the time, I'm sure there's many blogger who is just, some days they're probably sick and tired of creating content. You know, it's sometimes it's tired and it's boring to beat the same drum over and over again to show up regularly to create content and kind of you know do it over and over again it's very very easy and it's very very kind of attractive to kind of drop everything and go over to something completely different and try it out and give your hand over there and you know take the momentum off maybe what your business has built up and then like the car kind of slowing down when you take your hands off it it will return to a standing stop and then unfortunately again to get it going again you're going to have to put a lot of effort to get it going back and again so that's what I want you to think about the day depending on how 2020 has gone for you is the year to blame for your little bit of success that you've had or the lack of success or is it totally on your doorstep is it because you're jumping around from one thing to the other are you trying to be an expert on everything and an expert on nothing or maybe it's the people you're following you know sometimes if you find maybe some mentor of yours or someone who's shown up regularly in your inbox they, if they are trying to sell you kind of completely different businesses if they're trying to sell you a business on Instagram one day and the next day they're trying to sell you on fiction and the next day they are trying to sell you on you know making coat hangers or whatever some kind of weird business if you do find somebody who is trying to sell you different things that are distracting you maybe it's time to hit the unsubscribe button for them maybe it's time to stop following them maybe it's time to actually pick out somebody in your niche or your genre or your business or whatever 
whatever, who has been beating their drum for years and years, because there is a good chance, because they have been beating the drum for a long time, there is a good chance they probably know what they're doing. They probably know that they're an expert at that stage, and they were probably somebody who, you know, who can help you rather than somebody who is jumping from business to business every five minutes. So they could give that some thought today. As I said, when I read that post yesterday, it was a line that popped out to me. And, you know, when I think back to my lack of success many, many years ago, it's because of that. It's because I was jumping from one thing to the other. And, you know, hopefully maybe this podcast has helped you out. Maybe it has been a little bit of a slap around the head that have finally maybe woken you up to what you're doing. But as I said, when you are going into 2021, a lot of people think, well, we're going into a blank slate that everything is going to be the same. But if you're going to drag the same bad habits and everything into 2021, you're going to end 2021 in the exact same position you are in right now. So maybe it's time to kind of draw a line on the, what you're doing at the moment and pick something at it. Pick something that you want to continue doing and focus on that over and over and over again. Keep beating on the drum, creating the content, showing up regularly or whatever. And in 12 months from now, you are going to be in a completely different position than you are right now because you have done that. And again, most people, unfortunately, aren't consistent. Most people don't want to show up regularly. You know, it's very, very easy just to, to kind of say, oh, I wish I was a millionaire or I wish I was a blogger that was making 10000 a week or whatever. Or I wish I was this or I wish I was that. But when you actually get behind the scenes and you see how much work they put in, how often they show up and how maybe they are maybe missing out on part of the family life because they are throwing it all into the business, that that side of it isn't as attractive. Those are the things you don't see on Instagram and, you know, all the social media. Those people are too busy actually creating the content and building their businesses rather than kind of showing up and just kind of giving a little bit of a tweet or a little bit of a motivational quote or, you know, showing those Instagram images where there's a line or whatever that they're, you know, they're a great warrior or other you know or maybe there's a picture of somebody driving a ferrari and it's all about the cash this and the cash that when they're actually not doing the work to actually build the cash it's very very attractive just to kind of you know to to put on a show but not actually do the work in the background so give that some thought today if you know if, is this is the coronavirus to blame for your lack of success or does some of it you know remain are you to blame for some of your lack of success so as always if you'd like to ask me a question or if you'd like me to cover something in a podcast episode or if you'd just like to reach out to me you can send an email to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com or if you'd like to head over to the right come site that's w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e.com we have a great free report over there which is called words to wealth and in it i'm going to show you 10 different ways you can make money from your keyboard so if you want to download that free report head over to rightcom.com or if you'd like to drop drop by the facebook page again do a search for rightcom you'll find us over there as well so as always thanks for sharing your time again today take care have a great day Bye bye Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more from the rightcome.com podcast, be sure to subscribe now for more tips, tricks, and ideas you can use to make more money from your words. See you in the next episode.